Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hello, everyone. So how is everybody doing today? I hope everyone is doing great, right? Okay. So is everybody excited for a new class? Okay. So what are we going to learn in today's class? In today's class, we are going to learn a new method of abstract painting. So what is abstract painting? Abstract painting is a form of painting where we don't actually make a specific shape, but we use colors to bring out some perspective. All right. So for today's class, we'll be using masking tape and we'll be using a scrub or a sponge. All right. Okay. And those of you who have missed out the instructions for submission at the start of the class, don't worry. We'll play the instructions again at the end of the class and you can have a look. All right. Okay. So let us quickly get into the class and let us see what are all of the materials that we need for today's class. So is everybody able to see my screen? All right. So we will need a paper on which we will be painting and we need to tape all the four sides of the paper with the help of masking tape. Okay. If you don't have masking tape, you can use cello tape also. But for that, you need to use a very thick paper because cello tape can scrape off parts of the paper also. All right. Okay. What else do we need? Let us quickly see. Okay. So here is the paper that has been taped onto a cardboard. We will need acrylic colors. Okay. Nice bright acrylic colors. We will need the masking tape. We will need the sponge or the scrub pad. You can also use a scotch wipe scrub, scrub pad like I've used. And you need to tape your paper like this. All right. Okay. So before we get into the class, everybody quickly check whether you're having all of these materials or not, and then we'll go into the class. All right. Okay. So the first step is a very, very basic one. We'll be using the cello tape to randomly tape off parts of the paper. So just see, here I'm taking the cello tape. I'll just apply randomly, just randomly apply the cello tape. And with the help of a scissor, just cut it off. Okay. 
just everybody do the first step first before we move on to the next step just place a random piece of cello tape covering from one end to the other end of the paper like this anywhere you can place it anywhere no it's not necessary that you need to place it the way i have placed you can place it anywhere everyone quickly get it done so like this we will be placing random bits of cello tape here and there cello tape or masking tape whatever you are using we will place random bits of this cello tapes and masking tapes all over the paper all right so let us see where else we are going to put it so here i have taken one more piece and i've taped it like this it's in no particular order you can place it anywhere okay just remember it should be nicely taped down i'm using a scissor and i'll cut it off Just press it down nicely okay then we'll go for another piece just place it anywhere anywhere of the paper then we'll cut off the end and we'll press it down nicely press down the masking tape one more let us take from here from this side to this side we'll just keep it till the center cut it off with the scissor and there you go one more piece so like this just keep sticking bits and pieces of the cello tape all over your paper okay but be neat remember to be neat when you are pasting these bits all right so see here is one more piece of tape that i have used all right everybody got the idea what we are supposed to do okay so everybody complete till here first before we move on to the next steps i have taken 1 2 3 4 five pieces five pieces of cello tape okay and we have placed it randomly there is no shape anything as such you can make out right there is no particular shape we've just pasted these pieces yes everybody complete this first before we move on to the coloring portion you will see just by putting these tapes and just by using a little bit of color we can get such beautiful effects we can get such beautiful textures all right we are just working towards that how to create art without using any brush those of you who have already completed what you can do is you can choose some nice and bright acrylic colors okay so when i am saying nice and bright acrylic colors what are the colors i mean you can take red orange yellow green blue okay sky blue pink all right all the happy colors nice and happy colors just select the colors out just select your colors okay and keep them ready while the rest of you complete the taping part first if you are facing any issues cutting or using the scissors take the help of someone who is elderly okay and then be very careful when you are using the scissors to cut the tape off quickly get it done everyone we'll just give it 30 seconds more
okay all right we'll move on to the coloring portion now so see i have taken nice and bright colors and i will place them in all of these little slots that are there so see here i'll put a little bit of yellow okay just select your colors i'm taking a little bit of yellow in that same box i'll put a little bit of green also you can choose to put two colors in one box or you can just use one color for one box only it's completely up to you what color combinations you want okay so here i've taken green and yellow for the first box now what are the colors are there you can see this is a nice bright orange that i've taken so i'm just taking some orange color here if you don't have so many colors it doesn't matter you can repeat the colors also and i'll put a little bit of red also here and a small portion of red okay we'll put a little bit of blue here just select your colors and fill all of the spots that are left all of the places where you can see the paper just fill them up okay and finally i'll put some pinkish some peach color at the top portion okay one more part is left i'll put some sand yellow over here so we've gotten all of the portions covered everybody first pour out the colors on all of the paper portions before we move on to the next steps all right everybody quickly get the paper these color portions done first okay everybody get ready with your sponge okay the sponge or the scrub pad whatever you are using just get ready with it and pour out all the colors that you want to fill in the different spaces all right quickly get done with this step everybody okay now for the next step with the help of the sponge we will spread out all of these colors and we will mix this mix all of these colors so just see how to do that see here is the scrub pad that i'm going to use so just tap it like this and don't be hesitant to paint over the tape surface also okay because that surface is covering the paper so there is no issue if you paint over the tape also paint as freely as you want keep mixing the colors like this and keep painting you can see my color is going over the paint i am not abiding by the lines okay just fill up the entire space like this just keep tapping with your sponge and just completely fill up that entire space don't leave any white spaces in the edges paint over the tape also okay 
don't be afraid paint over the tape also just getting rid of the white spaces here okay so like this the first first lot is done okay everybody quickly get at least one of the slots completed see what a nice texture we have got from using the sponge right those little wave like structures that we have got we would not have gotten that if we had used a brush yes and see i have not hesitated i have not colored within the lines we have colored outside also on top of the tape as well yes quickly get it done everybody okay so this is the general idea this is the same thing that we'll be doing for all of the portions okay but just remember when you are moving from one color to another like for this particular portion i have used yellow and green now if i move to the orange and red portion my scrub already has the yellow and green color on it so be careful either your color should have dried out or used any other end of the sponge okay don't try avoiding uh, try to avoid using the same end of the sponge because your colors might get mixed up that previous green might mix up with this orange we don't want that all right okay so shall we continue with the rest of the painting everybody got the idea what we have to do okay similarly we'll complete all of the painting like this see here for the bottom portion all right now i am painting this orange portion also don't be afraid to paint over the tape you don't have to paint within the lines that is the beauty of this painting technique you can paint as and how you want even if the colors go outside the lines it's not an issue okay so like this get all of the spaces covered okay now we'll move on to these blue portions all right and one last blue portion that is left nicely get it done nicely cover all of the edges there should be no white spaces left in between you can see here some white space was left so i'm mixing up that blue to get a nice green all right a dark green you can also mix up any colors of your choice all right so here we have covered all of the spaces everybody just get it done everybody first color up all of the spaces it will take some time 
just cover up all of the spaces be gentle with the scrub don't destroy our paper okay just nicely cover up remember to use the texture of your scrub okay don't you can just use your scrub surface like this so that the texture of your scrub shows you can see you can easily make out that it's not made by a brush because there are some designs some patterns forming so that is very important for abstract art those of you who have finished give it some time to rest okay just let it dry out a little bit before we start off with the funniest part the most exciting part of this painting that is the tape peeling part yes quickly get it done everybody don't worry we'll wait for you everybody catch up and quickly get this part done first those of you who have completed just let it out to dry so that there are no paint remains when we peel it off okay it's very important that you give it some time to dry give it at least 1 to 2 minutes to dry all right before you peel the tape off okay everyone take your time don't worry just nicely cover up all of the surface see that there are no white spaces left the tape and between the tape and the paper the edges there should be no white spaces left all right yes okay is everybody finished so we'll start with the tape peeling now so the tape peeling part is very important start off with the tape that you had applied last okay and be very very careful because if your paper is even a little bit thin it will affect your paper so be very very careful those of you whose painting has still not dried out it is still very very damp don't peel it now allow it to dry for some time and only after that you can take off your yes masking tape all right for the rest of you those for whom you it has uh, dried up even a little bit you can try to peel the tape off so just see we'll start off with the tape that we had placed last i'll just make some adjustments here just to make the green color look nice and beautiful okay okay everybody we'll now move on to the tape pulling part so here see lower most tape the the tape that i had applied last i'm pulling it off so can you see wherever the tape was placed no color has come on that portion right that portion is left white because we had covered it off with the tape 
Everybody got the idea? So similarly, we have to take off the other portions of the tape also. So let us continue. Be very, very careful when you are pulling off the tape. Don't ruin your painting. Don't ruin your paper. So here is one more end. I'll just peel that off. Okay. Nice and easy. Take your time. Slowly peel it off. Don't be in a hurry. You will end up ruining your paper. Right. Here comes another one. Only two more pieces to go. This one is also done. And the final one. Also now we will take off these four tapes that we had placed on the border of the paper. Okay, to get the final effect. You can see how neat and clean it has come off. That is because we have placed the tapes. Be very careful again and again. I'll just repeat it. Be very careful when you're taking off the tapes. So here nice and clean we have one tape. Here is the second one. There you go. And here you go. All right. So you can see how nice and clean our painting has come out because we had placed the tape. So this is also a form of resist painting. You remember in the previous class when you had to use the wax crayons and watercolor was not getting painted on the surface of the paper because there was wax on it, right? Yes. So the same concept is used here. There was tape on the paper. So when we applied the paint, the paint did not get attached to the surface of the paper because there is always a tape that is covering the surface of the paper. Correct. So this is also called resist painting. The tape is resisting the paint from touching the paper. All right. So you can see you got a nice, beautiful abstract art for yourself. If you make it on a big cardboard, then you can just frame it and hang it on your walls. It looks really nice on walls. Abstract paintings are very much in uh, vogue these days. And you can always paint out using this technique. You can paint it out on a large cardboard. Use as many tapes as you want. Use as many colors as you want. And you will get a nice huge painting. And you can frame that. And you can place it in your house. On your walls. Right? So everybody had fun. Everybody learned something new in today's class. This was so, so easy. And yet, you got a nice, neat result. Right? Yes. So I'll be hoping to see all of your submissions made for the class. Okay, and those of you who had missed out on the instructions for submission, don't worry, we'll be playing it again so that you can have a look and you can make your submissions accordingly. Okay, and remember to make your submissions because if you make the submissions for all of the classes of the course, then you are eligible for a certificate. And also the top 10 people who have been marked for that particular class will be featured. Right? Yeah. So everybody, I hope to see your beautiful, beautiful paintings in the submissions. Okay. And I hope to see all of you in the next class as well. So take care, everybody. See you again in the next class. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. We are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, Go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended, which could, for example, show 
the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder. Your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at yolo underscore app. I am eagerly looking forward to all